So let's extend the I2C bus. First step, as always, make sure that there's no current. Next, this is my small piece. Uh, expansion of the I2C bus. Here is my phone cable that goes into the box and it has this clamp. You, I think you cannot see it because I turned off the lights. Uh, but here you have these clamps and I will add the cable to the bus now. So this is the clamp and this is the old cable and this is the new cable. So both cables are now connected to the clamp just in parallel. And now let's log into the Pi to see whether we can detect a new gadget on the I2C bus. Okay, this is the output of I2C detect on the Raspberry Pi. So I have now two I2C GPIO expanders and now I can, as usual, I2C get. Yes, one at 39, this is the new one with the address one. And I get the data of my motion sensor. So for function test, on, off, off, on, yeah, and some other lights out there. As you see, um, we also had an internship by a pupil who implemented this five minute, 15 minute, one hour delay. So we are also open for internships in Germany. Yes, when it's okay, then I can close. The okay, now this is the old Raspberry Pi. And this is my GPIO connector of the Raspberry Pi sitting in the DIN rail case. And now I can add these jumper wires to my new GPIO expander. So this is the result for today. The phone cable goes into this box and then out again to my second GPIO expander which is connected to the old doorbell and as well as to this motion sensor. Now to the software. So now software is ready. You won't see it in this light condition, but here is the bell. I press it. Then there's a short light coming up. And then my telephone is ringing. And when I enter the house and I move into the field of the motion sensor, I get the light turned on. So. That's great, that's how it works. And now I can add as much light sensors as I want.